on the threes. Well, let's send the show talking about the tropics. It's been a big topic of conversation. We've got a disturbance that is out, uh, out in the Caribbean right now. That's, that's worth talking about. That National Hurricane Center actually coming down with their 7 o'clock package up the chances to about 40% here in the next five days. It's working its way out into the western Gulf of Mexico. Pressures here have been pretty low over the last week or so. It looked like that was going to continue again today. We'll talk about that here in just a moment. We'll, we'll look at one of the models that, that may be hinting at that. Behind it, though, three different hurricanes in the Atlantic. You've got Hurricane Helene. That's going to just go up in the Atlantic. No real problem there. Hurricane Florence, a very, very powerful hurricane, making its way out over towards the Carolinas. I'd say anywhere from about Maryland all the way through to, to northern parts of the Georgia coastline. We'll need to pay attention, very close attention to that storm. And if you have interests in that area, I would highly recommend seeking out local meteorologists from the Carolinas or Georgia or Virginia, even up into Maryland for more information on Florence. And then we've got Hurricane Isaac, and that's the, the track we're going to take a look at because this one actually sticking to the south and heading through the Caribbean should be south of Puerto Rico by the time we get into the weekend. Now, should peak right around 90 miles an hour. So category one storm does fizzle after it hits the lesser Antilles down to a tropical storm and then we'll start to drift northwards a little bit. The thing is though, once you get past Saturday, no real support to see it continue as a tropical storm. That weakening looks like it's going to continue and, and may just be sort of a wave by the time it gets anywhere near the Gulf of Mexico. So not anticipating a storm in the Gulf of Mexico, not when it comes to Isaac. Isaac should stay south and out of the way. Now that one wave that we were watching and paying attention to does come into the western Gulf of Mexico over the next couple of days. Let's stop this right around Friday, 7 o'clock. At the very least, it's going to inject a lot of moisture into the area. That obviously will spark some showers out in the Gulf and get things kind of churned up. Now, as far as further development goes, maybe a tropical depression by the weekend, early next week. More so for the Houston area, I think, and it's going to be coastal Texas that has the biggest problems. We may end up, you can see here, we may end up on the dry side of this, but that would be right on our doorstep, so we will need to pay attention. And nothing worth panicking about right now, uh, but it is something that we should just, just keep an eye on. It's 86 degrees for your high on Monday. Your low tonight getting down to around 73. A look at your 10-day forecast here. Unsettled weather all the way through this week and next.